Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, guys. So today I have something special for you guys. So this is for all instructors of Udemy, all Udemy users, and anybody who's thinking in the future, maybe creating a course. Okay, so I'm going to break this down into two parts first part is for the instructors i want all of the instructors on udemy or anybody that's thinking about becoming an instructor on udemy to understand this the game has been rigged okay and what does that mean right so when you search for a topic on udemy or a course that you are planning to create you might see other people here and you might see hey man cool there's a couple of people who are successful who have great courses and they're doing their thing okay you might go here you say oh cool you know what i'm gonna give it my own spin i'm gonna create my own course because i'm a professional i have experience i've been doing this for a while and i think that can offer something that's better than what's already there okay so you go and create your course once you create your course your course gets five six cells and let's say you get a couple of uh, five stars, you get a couple of three stars, you get a couple of two stars, etc. Right? Next thing you know, your rating is at 4.2 or 3.9 or, or 4.3 or something, right? And you're like, damn, man, that sucks. Now you feel a little bit down about your course. You're like, man, you know what? I'm going to try to do it better. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, make sure that my course is so much better for the next time and that helps you out okay to actually help you become a better instructor and create better courses now when I say the game has been rigged is there's a lot of people who have their courses that never go below 4.5 and you always wonder that you're like wait I know how people are I know how human beings are like everybody gets bad reviews there's no way that all these people is going to have just perfect reviews all the time. Like there's no way because I know how people are. People complain about every single little thing. Even I myself, I'm an instructor for the people that don't even know and watching this. I'm actually a, a instructor and I sell my courses on my own platform and I have a few of them on Udemy. And I'm going to tell you this, like this is a perfect example of why people give you bad reviews. Like this is crazy. So, I created a course and this guy gave me a one star review because I use Adam and his favorite text editor is VS Code. Okay. So because I use Adam and I didn't use VS Code, he gave me a one star. Okay. Then the same thing happened with another course. I showed it with CodePen and he's like, wait. Why didn't you use VS Code? So it's the same user <laughs> that bought another course, but then he gave me another one star because I didn't use VS Code. Okay. Now, VS Code is just a text editor like this. Like, it doesn't matter what you use. Like, you could use whatever you want. I could use whatever I want. But that goes to show you how people go in and just give you bad reviews for no damn reason. Like, it has nothing to do with the, the course, the class. It's just literally just like I'm giving a bad review because he's not using what I'm using. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, so you get a bad review and then you realize, oh my God, my course is not selling. I spent two months, three months on creating this amazing course and you end up on page 54 or something like that. Like nobody's ever going to find your course. And if they find it, that's like by luck. Okay, so your course is not selling and then you look at this and you're like wait what's going on here like why are people not like you know i know how people are and i know how reviews work and i know how to do math <laughs> like how come nobody's reviews ever goes down right then you realize when you go into your messages and you check this out and you're like wait you get this from enam russell stop struggling with udemy best review service i'm like wait what a review service i thought we already was getting reviews from people so this guy has a service where they basically 
they sell reviews okay so you buy reviews like five star reviews to counteract with whatever bad reviews you might be having okay so i come here get this link paste it here and this is it so it shows you hey man in september 2017 this person was selling 393 dollars of of total earnings right cool now by november because they got the stimulus package of reviews that counteract with the bad reviews they come in and basically now they're making two thousand two hundred thirty five dollars now this is all the information that this guy is sending me this is not something that i can confirm this is the information that this guy is sending me he's like hey we provide five star rating from different ips on different time like isn't that great right so I don't know if these are real partners or not, but there's other people that he says that he works with. Okay. And I hope that this is not real. I hope that, you know, these people have not been gaming the system. Okay. Because they do have good courses, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it's just not being fair to all the other great instructors that are out there. Okay. So you got uh, this guy. I've never heard of him uh chad darby you got good old stephen grider which to me that blows my mind if this is true like this is gonna be pretty crazy to know this now because i'm like wow man like i respect this guy i like his courses i like what he does you know he does have a, a, a lot of good courses and there's some hit and misses right just like anybody else but one thing that you will notice is like nothing goes below 4.5, which to me is kind of a red flag. You know, I like Stephen Grider. I'm, I'm not saying that this is true, that he's working with this guy. This guy could be lying and he's just adding people's names just to make sure he start getting sales. Right. It could be that. But there's other people that he has. Um, of course, Maximilian uh, Schwarzmuller which to me was a little bit weird too because i'm like man like this will make sense you know what i mean like this will make sense why reviews never go below 4.5 of course right like everybody has great courses right but we're adding the human factor into it right just like i said people will give you bad reviews even for something stupid as a hey you didn't use my favorite text editor or hey you didn't use my favorite uh browser i love firefox and you use chrome like those are the stupid things that people will give you a bad reviews about right so from what this guy is telling me whatever his name is the the indian guy he's telling me that he has these guys as partners that he's been buying uh reviews for them which to me just sucks because it just it, it it games the system right it rigs it it rigs the whole game and it just like it messes up the whole algorithm the whole algorithm should be equally for everybody right meaning hey you have a course hey you have good and bad reviews okay now if you come in and you just say i got five bad reviews i'm gonna flood it with 25 good reviews of course, now you only have a, like a 4.5, 4.7 review. Hey, I got 50 bad reviews. I'm going to buy 100 good reviews. I'm going to flood it out. You know, so you always constantly counteract with what people are saying about your course. Like I told you guys, I have my own channel on YouTube. I have my own courses. So like say, for example, you search Polymer, you'll see a Polymer course that I created okay uh you could go to my profile you could search uh udemy slash user slash coding phase and you will see i have average uh, reviews just real reviews like i don't buy my reviews you know what i mean like you have a 1.0 here because somebody gave me a 1.0 it's only one review so only one person reviewed it right uh you have a uh, polymer you got 4.0 you got build music website takashi 69 4.7 uh let's see how to you know web developers 
web developers make passive income with React JS 4.1, 3.9, 4.9, 5.0, 3.8, 4.7, 4.6, 4.9. .9. Like it's an average rating, right? Because I don't buy reviews. I could easily just respond to this guy and be like, hey man. Hey, hey, buddy, I got, you know, I got a thousand dollars for you. You want to flood out my whole courses and, and give me five star reviews like I could go and do that. Right. I have the money to do it. But would I do it? No. And this is going to go into the other topic, which is for the users like this isn't going to help the users out. Like if a user comes in and looks at a course that I might have, they could go in there and say, OK, I'm buying this course because of the reviews it has and they can be sure that I didn't buy any type of reviews on this website. I didn't pay for it. You know, whenever you start seeing an instructor with anything like 4.5 and there's no courses with below or 4.5, that's already a red flag guys. That's a red flag. It means that these people have been gaming the system. Okay. It doesn't matter who you are. People are going to give you bad reviews no matter what you do. Okay. And it just games the system for the users. Cause now a user might go into a course and buy it thinking, Hey, this is the best course. This is the top best selling course. And then they realize like, yo, this is very basic. Like they're not teaching me what I need. They're not showing me what I want it. So the reviews lied to me. Okay. And it just messes up the whole game. I hope people understand that, you know, I'm exposing this not because, Hey man, I want to be number one. No, 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 no. I want to be just a regular instructor. I'm not looking to be making thousands and thousands of dollars from you to me. All I want is for good instructors to be found. Instead of having the same six, seven instructors for every single topic, like I want to be able to see new people, you know, it's like this guy, for example, this guy that I never heard of, um, his name is Paolo Diccione, right? I never heard of this guy. I had to go and find him, like going through searches, searches and searches and searches and found this amazing flutter app, right? This flutter uh, course that it teaches you flutter and dart, right? It's a great course, but this guy is not on the top page. This guy is not in the front page. And this is a great instructor. This is somebody that should be up there, right? But because he doesn't game the system and he has like real live reviews, you know, you got 4.5, 4.2, 4.6, 4.4, 4.3, 4.5, 4.5, 4.4. 4 .4. You will never find this guy on the front page. Maybe, maybe you might see just one course bestseller, right? Maybe you'll see this one, but you will never find him because people have gamed the system. It has become a thing of, Hey man, I'm just going to get that number one spot to make my money. And it's just, it's wrong because it messes it up for the users. Users will not find this guy unless they take their time to actually do a search result through Udemy and go into every single course and check out which ones are the best ones. Like this guy is legit guys. Like this guy is legit. He's a very, a very good instructor guys. Like I'm telling you guys right now, a very good instructor. And I wish I would have found him a long time ago. Okay. But I would have never found him if I didn't take half an hour to search through a whole bunch of different courses and finding which one is the best one and see what the hell they got and reading the reviews and doing this and that. Like I shouldn't have to take half an hour to find a good instructor. People shouldn't be able to game the system. Now I'm saying this and I'm probably uh, exposing this to the, to the internet that in reality, it could probably affect me on, on Udemy. I hope they, it doesn't affect me because I, I hope that Udemy takes this as a lesson that, Hey, they got to fix the algorithm. The rating system shouldn't be what the dictates 
what gets shown on the front page, what gets shown on the top of the pages. Like it shouldn't be dictating everything because there's a lot of great instructors out here that are creating really good courses. You know what I mean? And I am going to include myself in there because at the end of the day, I'm creating really good courses that are never going to show up unless I start buying from this guy. You get what I'm saying? Like now, what are the options that an instructor has to get found? You got to buy reviews like that shouldn't be the thing that dictates is if your course is good or not, because people are basically how you call this? Like people are basically gaming the system, man. You know what would be like a really good way to dictate which courses are good? Completion rate, right? You everybody knows that we all buy Udemy courses, and sometimes we don't even complete it, right? Because they're not good, they're not entertaining, they're not engaging. So they don't keep your attention. So then you move on to something else. I have a whole bunch of, of courses that I haven't even finished because they're just not engaging. And I don't even bother to go get a refund because I don't even have the time to go through the whole little process to get a refund. I just be like, whatever, it's $10. Like what the hell I was going to do with that $10? I just leave it there, right? Let that guy get his little $10. But if you are showing up in the front page and you you want this platform to grow more than what it is you want to be able to show the best courses not the best ratings on a course that shouldn't be what dictates what's a, a good course and what's not because there's a lot of people who are on the top who are gaming the system paying for reviews and it just it's just crazy all right so anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. I hope people take this video and understand what I'm trying to expose here. It's not really about who's at the top and I want the spot or who should be at the top and who should get it. No, what I'm putting out here is nobody should be gaming the system. So now we know that people game the system. So what we want from you to me is to change the algorithm. The algorithm should not be showing people just because of their reviews. It should show with their engagement. Do people even complete the courses? Okay. That's what should be shown. If a course gets completed every single time that people buy it, 90% of the time that people buy it, they complete a course. It means it's a good course. It means people are learning. People are, are getting what they wanted out of that course. And also too, the fact that when you buy a course, they already asking for a review on the second, third video doesn't make sense because most people haven't completed the course. How can they review a course if they haven't even completed the course? They just did two, three videos. Why are they getting a message saying, hey, what do you think about this course? I shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to be reviewing a course if I haven't completed it. You get what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Uh, the game has been rigged. And by the way, like I said, I love Udemy. I love what they've done. But the algorithm needs to change because a lot of people have been gaming the system. Anyways, man, if you want, you could come visit me at my YouTube channel, Coding Phase. Or you could come check out my website, CodingPhase.com, where I have exclusive courses. And I have some courses that I also share on Udemy. Okay, check out your boy. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com.